Welcome back to my channel. My name is Selenia for those who do not know and those who do and who've been here before know that when I'm in my bathroom, I am doing a hair video. That's just what I'm gonna do. This is the space that I like to do it in, this or the kitchen, but this looks better. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna do. Um, as you can read by the title, I wanted to do the curly ends on these braids. You know, that's the thing now, that's what's in. And at first I didn't think that I wanted them, but now that I look at them again, that I think they're so nice and long that I think curly ends would look really cool. So let's see. So I'm probably like this much. Look at how much straight hair is here. I had to leave out a little bit because I thought that I wanted to curl it. So this is what it looks like. Can't wait to see how it is. I've never done it before, so we're gonna be doing this together. But I was like, I know I wanted braids for vacation, and now I don't just want the basic braids that just are straight. I either usually add beads, or I just leave them like this and add like the little decals or the little decor in my head. But this time I want it to just look nice, sleek, and add curls to the end. So what you're gonna need for this video, or at least what you're gonna need for this to actually complete to get the curly ends, here would be some perm rods. I think there's about 24 in here. Oh, no way. There's like 10 of each color. So there's 20, and I have 24 braids. So I just ran to Walmart, grabbed those quick. Those were the only ones that they had left in stock. Thankfully they were there because I didn't wanna run to the beauty supply store as well. So I got those, you're gonna need some hot boiling water or hot water and then either a cup or a pot. I'm probably just gonna do mine in the pot because that's just what I do and that's what works. So that's what I'm gonna try and we'll see how it goes. So if you wanna see how I get these straight hair into some curly ends that look all nice and natural, then keep on watching. <laughs> I'm gonna open these on up. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, 18 rods, so there's nine. I should have read the packaging instead of trying to count real quick. Okay. But we have 18, I have 24, so we have to do six more after. I guess we'll do a trial run. So we have purple and pink, so cute. Some of my favorite colors. I'm going to start with the pink ones first because these look great. All you're going to do is these open on up. If anyone's used perm rods before, like when you used to do your hair, we used to put perm rods to like bump my front of my head. So we're gonna use these. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go towards the bottom and you're just gonna wrap it on around. I like to do the end first to make sure that the end actually gets it in. And then I'm just gonna keep twisting until I get to where there's no more straight parts. And what you do is you put your little clip on, boom, one, Good to go. So we're gonna go through this kind of quickly. I'll show you another one, but this doesn't seem very hard. So that's why I wanted to do this video because everyone can get the cute little curly ends. I just wanted to show you how. Let's get a purple one. I'm, I'm that girl. Like I'm gonna do every other. So again, you just twist at the end. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, twist, 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 twist. And then you just hook it on up. And boom, now we have two. My hair I think is kind of different lengths, but I kind of like it like that. I don't like it all uniform. I want it to look like it has kind of some layers. However, my hair lady, Miss Toya, does my hair. That's how I like it. Like <laughs> She's good at what she does to me. And we'll see how it goes. I really hope that it goes well. We'll see. I'm gonna listen to some music and finish this part up, get the 18, and then I'll have six more to go. I'll probably leave it for the six in the back. So we'll see how it goes and... <laughs> too long compared to like my rest of them so I'm still gonna twist it and then I'm just gonna chop off whatever I don't want which is probably gonna be quite a bit because when she braids it she puts one piece she braids down adds another piece puts piece adds down to add all of the length so 
that's what we're gonna do. This one's gonna be mighty long. So I'm kinda gonna wrap. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. And then pop it on. And I decided I'm just gonna do half of my head so we can see what one half looks like compared to the other. So let's keep going. Here. I actually forgot to start my water, so I'm gonna go boil my water and then I'll be back when it's time to put it on. And I forgot you also need a towel just so you can soak up all the excess water. But I really hope that it turns out good. Like, I think this is cute. Like, no, maybe not. But okay, so I'll see you guys after my water boils. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have my pot. It's hot, I see the water steaming, and I got my towel, like the bath towel that I used in college. So, let's see. This is what it looks like now. Here's what this looks like. I'm gonna slowly dip them in here. And I think it just like, oh shoot, I gotta get this one in here. I think it just like seals it on in. Okay, I wanna make sure all of them are in there. But they're all here in this pot. And then, let's see. <laughs> this is an old pot we don't use. So then I'm gonna take them one out. I'll put that right there. And they're steaming, they're smoking. So I'm gonna dry them off. This is kind of like a microfiber towel, this bath towel. And that's what I try to always use on my hair. Like that's my goal. I try to always use that on my hair and it's hot because I feel it in my towel. So yeah, they're, they're very warm. <laughs> so I'm gonna start out with see how we did. Okay, here's the big reveal. If it's horrible, I'm gonna be so sad. natural curl so these are so cute out then how cute oh this is gonna be so cute so now I'm just gonna go through each one I'm really shocked that it actually turned out okay I was like I'm gonna film this video and I'm not even gonna post it because it's not gonna turn out well but these are so cute look how cute I just wanted to add a little something wow I did that. And I feel like now since I have these rollers, like when the curls start to loosen or since I'm going on vacation, I know I'm going to be in water that I can always just do it again. And it's easy. You get a pot, pan, towel, and hot water and these curl perm rods. I'm going to trim some and I'm just going to keep going. These are cute. to me compared to these cute curled ones like ooh, okay those are cute so now I'm gonna do these 12 on this side or do the same steps and then this video is over I'll just have to do my edges after but I'll do that this morning when I get ready to go on the plane so this is I'm just gonna do the next steps the next parts and it turned out so good I'm like so happy so if you guys enjoy stuff like this let me know um, I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to hairstyles. And not even my comfort zone. Like, I like getting my hair different styles. I just need to think of different things because I tend to do the same thing. Box braids, passion twists, 
I tried wigs for a while, but those were like colored wigs and bobs and stuff like that. I didn't want anything that looked like my natural hair. So I was big in that for a while, but now I'm getting these just because I'm going on vacation and everybody knows how it is. No one wants to do their hair on vacation. I don't want to deal with my Afro puff um, all day long in the Florida sun, the Florida humidity, all of that. Like, I'll pass. <laughs> I just want it to be nice and easy, enjoy my time there instead of worrying about do I look crazy by my head. So I'm just going to keep going and I'll see you guys in a few. like I think they look so cute some of them are still a little wet but they just have to dry but I think that just makes such a difference so here they are these are gonna relax a little bit like these ones did and or maybe no I'm gonna go get my scissors and I'm gonna trim a little bit because I want them to look kind of like the same and these look way longer be right back Okay, so I cut a few just to make it kind of a similar length. They're not all going to be perfect because they are all different length braids pretty much. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Here's the final product. Cute, cute. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to. Comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, beautiful.